Hi, this is Mato. Welcome to my online chess lecture. In this video, I will show you a game between Timur Jabov and Nicholas Elliot. This game was played in France in 2004. Rajabov had white pieces and he started with d4. Elliot played d5. c4, queen's gambit. c6, the Slav defense. Knight to c3. d takes on c4, e3. b5, defending the pawn, the standard move. a4, b4, white to move. Knight to a2 is the most played move. Rajabov played knight to e4. Black to move. Knight to f6 was played. Queen to d5 is the most played move and perhaps the best back to our game. Knight to f6, knight takes knight on f6 check. e takes on f6, bishop takes on c4. Bishop to d6, knight to f3 castling, queen to c2. The white queen is studying the pawn on h7. a5, bishop to d3, h6 castling, queen to c7. So far, nothing crazy. Bishop to d2, bishop to b7. Rook from a to c1, knight to d7. And black completed his development too. h3, rook from f to c8. Can you see how the concentration of the black pieces is on the queen side? Can white take an advantage of that? How would you continue? Rajabo played knight to h4 c5. Elliot is fighting on the side of the board where he is stronger naturally. Queen to d1. And now bishop to a6, offering to trade his less valuable bishop, white's dangerous one. Bishop takes on a6. What else? If bishop goes to b1, bishop takes on f1. Back to our game. Bishop takes on a6. Rook takes on a6. And now knight to f5. This is a lovely outpost for the knight. Well, looking from the white's point of view. Bishop to f8, e4, unleashing his dark squared bishop. Queen to b7, d5, c4, queen to e2, knight to b6, rook to a1, no rush, rook to e8, rook from f to e1, Rook from a to a8, perhaps intending rook to c8. Let's take it back. If knight takes on d5, then queen takes on c4. Back to our game. Rook from a to a8. White to move. This is now the most interesting moment of the game. What would you do in this position if you had white pieces? Please pause and find the best move for white. Did you pause? What did you find? White. Play the move in black designed. Believe it or not. And the move is, are you ready to see the move? Kaboom. Bishop takes on h6. Black resigned. Unbelievable. Is it too early? Well, for the entertainment purpose I will show you just one line. Pawn takes bishop. Queen to g4 check, king to h8, and what did Rajabov have in mind? How would you continue? Then rook to e3, and black can see what is coming, but there is nothing sensible to do about it. Well, let's continue with knight takes on d5. Then rook to g3, threatening queen to g8 check mate. If knight defends, the g8 square, then knight takes on e7, and after some random move, bishop takes on e7, then white simply plays queen to g7, check, mate. What a lovely attack by Timur Rajabov. What about that killer move? Did you find the killer move too? If you did, congratulations. What do you think of this game? And that is all. I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. I wish you good luck with your chess and bye for now.